touch did something for me that I was not expecting. Making me walk out of the film feeling very free in a way. Made me feel very peacefully in a way because touch is a very soothing film. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is ICD Movie Reviews. My name is Owen DeBrinka and today I'm going to review the latest romantic drama film, Touch. This movie is directed by Baltasar Comico. Hopefully I said his name right. And I'm not going to try and pronounce the actor's name in the film because they're pretty hard names to pronounce. So I'm just going to talk about the characters' names in the film. But this is the latest romantic drama film. A romantic and thrilling story that spans several decades and continents. Touch follows one man's emotional journey to find his lost love who disappeared 50 years ago before his time runs out. So this might be the film that a lot of people has haven't heard of. This movie is directed by Baltasar Comico. Again, hopefully I said his name right. He directs some pretty mixed movies. You know, most of them I do enjoy from Contraband and Two Guns. Those are two fun, underrated action films. But he also directed a movie called Beast that came out a couple years ago, which I did enjoy. And he also directed two pretty solid survival films from Everest and Adrift. So, I like this director, but he's not, you know, the best director out there. But most of his movies have been pretty solid. So, the thing that I discovered about Touch is that I looked at Facebook. And I recognized the director's name. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's that guy who directed Beast, Everest. I enjoyed those movies. And just from the trailers and the concepts alone, this looks like a very sweet touching, tear-dropping romance film. And I don't mind romance films. If, like, a girlfriend of mine, if I had a girlfriend, takes me to see a romance movie, I wouldn't care about it. As long as they did the romance right. Not this cheesy Nicholas Sparks-type bullshit. You know, I like romance movies that felt natural, you know? That you just like this couple, you root for them to stay together. So I literally went into this film kind of blind, not knowing what to think of the film. The film looks very sweet and very touching. So, you know, I'm expecting a tear-jerking movie, and... In a way, in a good way, I wasn't tear jerking throughout this film because Touch did something for me that I was not expecting. Making me walk out of the film feeling very free, in a way. Made me feel very peacefully, in a way, because Touch is a very soothing film. Yes, it has some emotional scenes, but it didn't go too tear jerking. This is actually a very light-hearted romance film that I actually kind of adored actually. It is one of those movies that's very very simple. It's about a man that tries to find his long lost love and this film told through flashbacks of the young version of Christopher's character falling in love with this Japanese girl named Miko. And I gotta say their romance in this film is really cute in this film. I love their chemistry together. Those two actors have a very excellent chemistry with one another. Their romance in the movie just felt very very natural in my opinion. It didn't feel cheesy you felt like, yeah, you are in for their romance and you root for them to be together and you root for the present version of Christopher to go find this woman because the film tells you a reason in a way why he wants to go after this girl. Because this girl basically changes his life for the better when he started working at this Japanese restaurant when he met this girl and learning about the culture of Japanese. That aspect I was really, really touched by because I loved that plot aspect of the film. Not just the romance, I love the plot aspect of Christopher basically learning Japanese and their culture in this film because he is the only, like, white guy in a way that works in a Japanese restaurant. So you see him basically learning this culture and you kind of feel like you're learning this culture with him. I like this concept of the film. It just shows that anyone can learn different people's regions and, you know, culture. And I gotta say, Baltasar Comic Card directed this movie very, very well. The movie looks beautiful when it comes to the cinematography and all that stuff. And like I said before, this movie's told through flashbacks and stuff, so it definitely cuts back from past to present. I gotta say, this film is edited extremely well because it cuts back to flashback for basically a good reason. There are some bits where it cuts back to flashback where I'm like, okay, it's telling the same character, but this time from the present. I thought that's very clever the way this film was edited. But I really buy the romance between Christopher and Miko in the film. And you really root for the present version of Christopher to go find this woman. It's a very powerful and emotional journey in this film that I walked out feeling very happy. It's a very sweet film. Like, there is these two older couple that walked out of this film, like, with me. I was in front of it, and they said... This film is just a very sweet and relaxing film. They said that out loud. And they're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. It is that film. If you want a film that's very soothing, very sweet, very romantic, I would say Touch is definitely that movie. I really love this movie, guys. I was not expecting to walk out of this film going, I'm feeling kind of happy. You know, Touch is one of those movies that 
I feel like it's a very relaxing and soothing film to watch. Touch is a movie that is very sweet, it's very touching. Baltazar Comic Con, I think this is his best film that he has directed. I don't know if this film's gonna go any Oscars or anything, but hopefully this goes for maybe the best foreign film, even though this film has English in it, but it's like half foreign, half English, so I don't know if it'll go in that category. It should be there somewhere because Eiffel Touch is a very sweet and beautiful looking film with a pretty good romance, a very touching story, a very beautiful story in a way. It's very simple, but it's also unique at the exact same time. I love the plot aspect of the main character learning the culture Japanese, but of course the romance between Christopher and Miko, it's very beautiful in this film. So yeah, I would say Touch is probably the most overlooked movie of 2024. I would say go check this movie out. This is kind of like the past lives of this year where I walked out of this film kind of speechless but also feeling very happy. That's the difference. Past lives, I felt more emotional. This movie, I walked out speechless, actually pretty happy. So guys, I would recommend seeing Touch. I think this is a very beautiful film, and I gotta say for Touch, definitely go see this film on the big screen. So guys, that is my review for Touch. Let me know what you think of this film if you have seen this film. If you like the film, hate the film, or you thought it's okay, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Keep contact with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel now for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.